morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the round table. Well, today is the uh, 22nd of June, and the 22nd of June has now been declared uh, Windrush Day, uh, celebration of Windrush. Uh, many persons from the Caribbean who came to the UK uh, 70 years ago, so today is deemed as Windrush Day. <clears throat> There's going to be various celebrations. Um, number 10 Downing Street, the Prime Minister will host a reception there uh, with many affluent persons. Affluent persons are any person, actually. Everyone is affluent. Um, and the church service as well is going to be taking place as well. So, so that's all good. That's all good. Uh, many persons are for it and some are not for it. I've seen articles I've seen uh, letters open letters uh, who are not in support of the Prime Minister's reception and um, as I would say man mad angry cross mad angry cross as uh, as uh, as as uh, the killer would say <laughs> but nevertheless still um, many persons like Patrick Vernon has been campaigning for this uh, Arthur Torrington, uh, guys like Uncle Joe Aldred, call him Uncle Joe Aldred, Reverend Aldred, and uh, you know, many persons from the Windrush sector that I I, I got to know, you know, um, since I came to this country. Um, elderly men, <clears throat> men who have taken me under their wings when I first came to the UK, who are Windrush generation, from Windrush generation. Um, they played a part in this country. And it's unfortunate what has happened um, in the recent days, over the years, uh, where some of them have been deported and some have been, uh, you know, not treated well. But nevertheless, still, um, I always look to see what messages or what lessons can be learned. Also, how can something be spin from a negative into a positive? I always believe that no matter what there's always a way you can spin something from the negative into a positive it is what you say it's a classic art because one can always zero in on the negative the negative the negative the negative and in the negative or one can actually build upon the areas which is positive and build upon it so ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of young people in this country, a lot of young people who are beneficiaries of the Windrush era. Their parents came here, their grandparents came here. I'm not a product of the Windrush era. I'm a first generation Jamaican coming to the UK, 1992. My parents have never been here. Um, you know, so I've only learned the bits and pieces. So. But I can only appreciate um, the work that has been done by many before me in the UK. And we all have a role to play. So how do we build upon what is there now? Do we build upon it? Or do we tear down what is there? we got a choice as to what we do and how we actually progress. This morning, for, um, I saw a video, something which I've never seen before. And I posted the video on Facilitators for a Better Jamaica page. And I posted the video as well on uh, my personal page. You can check it out. Where an African chief in Ghana apologized. He apologized for the 400 years ago of being a contributor to the transatlantic slave trade. That was powerful. And, uh, and he apologized and said sorry. You know, I believe there was a healing factor, a healing power in that. Because it takes two to tango. It takes three to tango. But most time it takes two to tango or to the rumba, if anything. So yes, the Af Af African chief apologized. 
And of course, it is now time for the West, for the UK, for Spain, these countries to apologize unreservedly for the atrocities of slavery. It happened with Germany and the Holocaust. So it's time now for that to the next level. One cannot rewrite history, but one can actually highlight the hidden gems of history. You know what I said? One cannot rewrite history because history is factual. History is established, but history is revealed to many based on the, the writer, the oppressor. The oppressed normally is not in a position to write their own history. So now's the time for the hidden aspects of history to be written. And even if they take off the different artifacts, the statues and all those sort of things, it doesn't change history. But what is needed is to highlight and to disclose the hidden gems of history which are not disclosed to the world. So this is just my contribution to the, uh, the Windrush and to, uh, to be a part of that celebration and to honor the persons from the Windrush who came to the UK many years ago, who are being trailblazers, pioneers. It is a pioneer. It is a pioneer to leave one's homeland by choice, know what I said? By choice, to go to a foreign land on a boat with his family, her family, young family, in a cold country, even though it was said with, uh, paved with gold and all those sort of things. But nah, what they saw wasn't paved with gold. What they saw was paved with atrocities, paved with racism paved with discrimination paved with you know all these different things no Irish, no dogs, no blacks and all those sort of things but yet they persevere they persevere to the day that now you're having thousands hundreds of thousands of black people in this country right and they are here to stay many people sometimes ask me hey Silburn Let's go back to Jamaica to run Jamaica. And I say, listen, Jamaica can take care of itself. When I look around me, I see many young people. I see many people look like myself. So we have a role to play. We have a part to play in this country for the development of our people and for the development of people. So no, you will not hear me as one who actually, who is just being critical for critical sake. But I'll be critical, but at the same time, I look at the positives and how one can build and build and build and build upon what we have so far. So ladies and gentlemen, have a smashing, wonderful Windrush Day and enjoy yourself as I go about the Queen's business and to see the judge this morning. <laughs> That's a part of the process. Yep. See you later. Alligator. Bye-bye, crocodile, as, as I would say. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what, what's, what's, what's the right thing to say, you know? Um, and, uh, and peace out. Cheers.